Hello and welcome to this particular presentation. In this presentation, we shall be looking at a question that involved the Pythagoras theorem. Before we proceed, make sure you, if you're not a subscriber, make sure you subscribe, like, share, and of course, comment on this video on any kind of question you might have in your mind. Now, let's look at the question. First, that is a diagram. ABCD is a quadrilateral with AB perpendicular to BC and angle ACD equal to 90 degrees. Calculate the I length AC, II length AD, III perimeter of the quadrilateral. Now, before we solve this question, let us make sure that we take a quick look at the Pythagoras theorem. Now, let's look at the Pythagoras theorem. The figure you see on the screen is a right angle triangle. Okay, how do we know so? One of his interior angles is a, is a 90 degree angle. Now, Pythagoras simply deduces his theorem as when you take the square of the longest side, all right, it is simply going to be equal to the square of when you take the square of the longest side, it is simply going to be equal to the sum of the squares of the two remaining sides. In other words, length of AC squared is simply going to be equal to length of AB squared plus length of BC squared. Now let's try to deduce this particular method. First, we draw squares on the sides of what? The right angle triangle, leaving out the longest side for now. Now, what will be the area of this particular square? Since you get to realize that this side is 3 or 3 units, the area of this square is simply going to be gotten by multiplying 3 by 3, since the area of a square is simply length times length. Now, using unit squares, you get to realize that we can simply divide this portion into our three unit squares. One, two, three. All right. And since it has equal length, that means we are going to also have three unit squares along all its length. Now, counting count the unit squares within, what are going to have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right. So that simply tells us that the area of this particular square here is nine square units. Now, since we have three here, you can just go straight forward and multiply three by three, and that will still give you nine square units as the area of the square drawn on the side AB. Now let's introduce another square on the side BC. Now since this side here measures four centimeters, you simply get to realize that the area of this is also going to be gotten by multiplying four by four since all the sides of a square are equal. And better still using unit squares, you can still simply go ahead by counting the unit squares that are found along all the sides, all right? Or like just two sides and multiplying it by two or better so let's just count them as you can see on the screen so we have here one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen and sixteen so you get to realize that the number of or the area of the square drawn on the side bc is simply going to be 16 square units Now, let's look at another square drawn on the longest side, which is AC. Now, let us look at another square drawn on the longest side, AC. Okay? So, you get to realize that if you are going to use the same measure of unit squares that were used for the smaller squares for the same thing, you get to realize that the area of this is going to be 25 since you are going to have 5 of search along this particular length, 5 of search along here, and 5 of five of such along all the lengths all right so you can literally count them what do you have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three twenty four twenty five all right now the area of this particular square drawn on ab was nine nine square units and the area of this 
the area of the square done on the side BC was also at 16 square units. Now, simply add 9 to 16 and see what happens. Now, you get to realize that the square or the sum of the squares on the side AB and the side BC sum up to give you the area of the square drawn on what the side AC. Now, let's look at it algebraically and deduce from there. First, the area of a square is simply L squared. All right? And of course, area of the square on AB is simply going to be equal to what? The side AB times what? AB. Since all the sides of a square are equal. So if this is AB or if, if, if this place measures AB or let's say length AB, then of course we can simply say that the length on all the sides are simply going to also be what? The same measure as what? The length AB. So we are just using AB for all the length. So the area of the square on AB is simply going to be what? AB times AB or length of AB times length of AB. And now that simplifies to AB squared. Okay. Now, and now if you look at the units or the, the number here, 3, all right, multiplying by itself, you should come up with the answer, which is what? Going to be what? 9 square units, as you can see on the screen. All right. This we already deduced earlier. Now, let's look at the area of the square done on BC. All right. That one will also have an area. That will be calculated by simply multiplying BC by BC. And that simplifies to what? BC or length of BC squared. And that will simply give you 4 squared. And that also simplifies to, of course, 16 square units, which was already deduced earlier. Remember, the area of a square is length times length. Now, area of the square drawn on AC is simply going to be equal to what? Length of AC times what? Length of what? AC. Since it is also a square, that means its length are going to be of the same measure as what? AC. So to make things easy, we are just simply going to multiply AC by AC. Since the area of a square is simply what? Length times length. Okay. Now that again also simplifies to what? AC squared, which subsequently we'll come and look at what that place measures or like or what the area of that particular square will be like algebraically. Now, we can simply say that per our earlier deductions, you realize that the sum of the areas of the squares drawn on AB and of course BC summed up to give us what? This, the area of the, what, the square drawn on what? AC. So you simply put AC squared is simply going to be equal to what? AB squared, which is the sum of this square here. And of course, plus BC squared, which is going to be what the area of what, the square drawn on, on the length BC. All right, that is just a Pythagoras theorem. Okay, now when we added them up, we had what 25 square units. All right, so this simply gives you a 25 square units. So, this one you see here, this relationship you see here is to establish that the Pythagoras theorem is actually correct. Now, therefore, Pythagoras found out that the area of the square on the longest side is the sum of the areas of the squares drawn on what the remaining sides. Please, this is an important theorem to keep in your memory. All right. Now let us proceed to, this, to the solution to the question. Thank you. The question read as follows. ABCD is a quadrilateral with AB perpendicular to BC and angle ACD equal to 90 degrees. Calculate the I length of AC. I, I, length of AD, I, 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 perimeter of the quadrilateral. Okay. So since this question involves right angle triangles, you should know the theorem we are going to use in solving it. Of course, your guess is as good as mine. We are using the Pythagoras theorem. Now, now forward to the solution. By the Pythagoras theorem, we are very much aware that AC squared would be equal to AB squared plus CD squared, as you can see on the screen. Now, given AB to be equal to 3 centimeters and BC to be equal to 4 centimeters and substituting, it will simply imply that AC squared or length AC squared is simply going to be equal to 3 squared plus 4 squared. We can neglect the unit for now. And now that simplifies to Length AC squared is simply going to be equal to 9 plus 16 because 3 squared is 9 and 4 squared is 16. Now this sum, it becomes 25. That simply implies that 
length ac squared is 25 but we are looking for ac length of ac not ac squared so what we do is that we take the square root of both sides and that simplifies to length ac is simply going to be equal to 5 centimeters now we can add our unit so thus we have been able to deal with the first part of the question therefore the length of ac is simply 5 centimeters now let's move to the second part of the question now again by the pythagoras theorem now and now considering this particular triangle here we can simply say that ad squared ad squared is simply going to be equal to ac squared plus cd squared as you can see on the screen per our calculation we had ac to be five centimeters and of course cd was already given to us to be 12 centimeters and now substituting would imply that ad squared or length ad squared is simply going to be equal to 5 squared plus 12 squared simplifying further length ad squared is simply going to be equal to 25 plus 144 and moving forward length ad squared is simply going to give us 169 now taking the square root of both sides would now come to the realization that length of ad is simply going to be what 13 centimeters and now considering finding the perimeter the perimeter is simply going to be equal to the total distance around the figure we are simply going to be adding the length of ab to the length of bc to the length of cd and to the length of what ad remember the length within this AC is not included because it is within the figure. We are looking at the, the, the distance around the figure. So let's be careful of that. Now we know that AB is 3 centimeters, BC is 4 centimeters, CD is 12 centimeters, and of course AD is 13 centimeters. So this is the sum we have just written here. Now when you add 3 to 4, you come up with 7. 7 plus 12 will give you 19 and 19 plus 13 will give you 32 so we can simply conclude that the perimeter of the figure is 32 centimeters and that solves the question